Sorry, have we met? Hey, what's the problem, sport? Sad about your shoes? Because if you're not, you should be. No, it's not my shoes. Well, it is, but... Oh, you think it's silly. Try me. My wife's friend Liz just had an operation. And? Now she calls herself Liam. So, if Liz wants to be a man, that's his choice. What's it to you? She could never have done it if it was still the 50s. It's sick, perverted. The lady doth protest too much, methinks. Oh, if only that were true. You may not believe this, but I think I can change your life. Just push off, will you? I'm miserable enough without your help. Thank God you're not a mind reader. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I want to have the operation, but I can't do that to my wife. She loves a bit of a go at the old pork cutlass. And now for something completely different. Hello, Irene Havisham speaking. Rainy, it's me. Who is calling, may I ask? It's Eddie. Eddie, darling, how lovely to hear from you. Have you got a cold? You sound a bit under the weather, you poor thing. It's not that. I'm... <clears throat> I'm having a sex change operation. Your what? I started a hormone therapy last week. You must have noticed. Stan, you cheeky boy, impersonating Eddie. Be more original next time, darling. I mean, really, who'd ever believe he wanted to be a woman? Who the hell is Stan? Rainy, it's me. Come on, you've got to believe me. Who else would know about your erotic stamp collection? Eddie? Holy hippies on a stick! Meet me outside my house, and for God's sake, don't let anyone know who you are. <whistles>
I can't believe it! My mother warned me this would happen, but how did she know? Rainy, it's me. Now, you're not upset, are you? Upset? Why would I be upset? Just because my husband suddenly wants to be a woman? It's not as if you just loved mine so much you had to have one of your own. You hardly touch me. Well, for better or worse, till death do us part, you're stuck with me, baby, like it or not. Oh, I knew something was wrong. My bra's always oddly stretched out of shape. Just leave me alone, will you? Thank God we have no children. At least they don't have to live with this humiliation. <laughs>